Hello, I'm Michael Diamond. You're watching a Muscle Central News Update. Okay, uh, as of now, it appears that the 2021 Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio is on hold. It's been, I guess you could say, postponed. Uh, no hint of a possible future date. I mean, as you know, that this uh, this year was a crazy year. We've had a lot of shows that were canceled and never took place. Uh, shows have been relocated just so they can take place. Uh, the Mr. Olympia has been relocated from Las Vegas to Florida so it could be held and you can have an audience. Uh, you're on a classic there because of this COVID situation. They chose to uh, postpone it. Now, I'm disappointed naturally as a bodybuilding fan. The Arnold Classic uh, Ohio is the second biggest show in bodybuilding next to the Mr. Olympia. And not to have that show take place, it's almost as bad as not having the Olympia take place. Now, they went through a lot of trouble to make sure the Olympia goes on. Of course, obviously it had to be rescheduled to a later date, uh, and they had to change not only venues, states, us went from, like I said, Las Vegas to uh, Florida, but they found a way to make it happen. Uh, well, we can all thank Jake Wood for that. Uh, the current owner of the Olympia brand. And the truth of the matter is, and I made a video about it about a week ago, he's taking a loss, but it's his love for bodybuilding, his passion for bodybuilding, that won't allow this, the Olympia not to take place. Jake Wood is very, very... Comfortable to say the least. He has a lot of money, and I'm sure nobody wants to lose money. But the reality of it is, the loss he's taken is probably not hurt him <laughs> whatsoever. Anyway, and he loves bodybuilding. And he's making sure it goes on. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger got his break for and bodybuilding. It was the fact that he was Mr. Olympia that led to TV roles, uh, I'm sorry, movie roles. It was, it was probably the number one action star for quite a few years. Went on to be the governor of California. Arnold, I would Say it's safe to say that he's much, he's more better off than Jake Wood. I understand you want to make money, you know, people don't want to take a loss, but you would think that someone of Arnold's stature, status, and of his financial means. And the fact that it was bodybuilding that made him what he is, gave him that financial means, he would want to find some way to make sure that he can hold the Arnold Classic. Uh, I know it's uh, there's restrictions going on uh, in a lot of states. Uh, some of the states where the rest restrictions have been eased, they're uh, being reinforced again. But 
other competitions. We have the number one bodybuilding show, the Olympia, found a way to happen, make it happen. They brought the show to a state where they can hold it, I guess, where they can have an uh, somewhat of an audience, maybe not full capacity, but they can still have a sufficient audience. Uh, the New York Pro, which would, which would be the number three show behind uh, Olympia and the Arnold Classic, the New York Pro, the name New York, would indicate that it's it takes place in New York. They did not want to let the show, the year pass without the show taking place. They moved the show, Steve Weinberger packed and moved the show to Florida to make sure it could happen. Uh, I guess, like I said, I'm disappointed that Arnold... The fact that he got to where he is, uh, and he's a very wealthy person, he got to where he is through bodybuilding. And I'm disappointed that he would not do whatever it takes to make sure that this number one, the number two show in bodybuilding takes place. Now, there's even rumor that we might not even have an honor class. It's, it's going to go away. I don't know. I think that's over-jumping it. I think people are getting a little nervous. Just the fact that they're already talking about, they've already announced that they're canceling it. They're postponing it. And there's no, and there's really no discussion about a possible future date. So I think people are getting a little uh, overreacting a little. I don't think it's going to disappear altogether. We got a little crazy situation going on out there with this virus, but there's no indication that they plan on rescheduling it as of now for this year, anytime this year. So that's totally up in the air. And also, there's also some rumors going around that uh, there's uh, some disagreements between the Lorimers and uh, and Arnold. Now, the Lorimers and Arnold are the ones who promoted the show year after year after year. I don't know if there's any how much truth there is to that, but getting back to Arnold, don't forget what got you to where you are now. I know it's a tough situation. And like I said, I, I know nobody wants to take a loss, but bodybuilding got you to where you are now. Your, your show, the Arnold Classic, the Arnold Classic go Ohio is the number two show in bodybuilding. And you have the financial means to make sure it takes place one way or another. You might not make any profit on it. You might take a loss, but it's not going to affect your way of life either. Don't forget where you came from. Don't let this stop what's going on. Stop the number two show in bodybuilding, the second most prestigious show in bodybuilding from taking place. All right. Uh, that's about it for this video. If you agree or disagree with what I've said, please let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit that notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Once again, this is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.